放大佢先。My son today, Jacob, is 23, and at two years nine months, he was diagnosed with low functioning autism. Some of you may not know what autism is all about, but it's a spectrum disorder, and many people believe that the immune system got triggered. Some people think it was too much antibiotics, vaccines. Some people think it may be diet, uh, genetics. They're born with it. We really don't know, but we do know that. So many of our boys, our babies, our grandbabies are getting hit with this. And spectrum disorder goes somewhere between a low insult to the brain would be AD, ADD, ADHD. Higher insult to the brain looks more like Asperger's, where um, people, the kids still have sensory. Issues, but they 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 don't have, their cognitive skills are still pretty intact. And then autism, autism is sensory skills aren't right, play skills aren't right, language isn't right, digestion isn't right. Like it's pretty severe. Where children with autism, they don't have receptive or expressive language. They don't know like when you call them to come, <laughs> or they don't know um, how to talk. And there's lots of behaviors and tantrums because there's so much frustration. And there's many protocols we use as parents to deal with the autism spectrum disorder. And、uh, one of the programs I used for a decade was CARD, Center of Autistic Related Disorders, and we used an ABA program, Applied Behavior Analysis, to help retrain the brain. And that's what we did. And we retrained the gut with gluten casein-free diets. And really strong antifungals and probiotics because gut and brain go together. You got to heal them both. Well, we're doing all of this, and then at about age 13, Jacob gets his testosterone, and this happens a lot in our boys. We think everything's going well, testosterone hits, and then all of a sudden they have mass OCD, anxiety. He said he had fire in his brain, and he could not sleep. Um, at night, and he did not go to school for six months because his brain hurt so much. He would spin over and over and over again. What happened to him is in shop class he didn't he didn't do it, but he thought this is crazy, right? He thought he cut a little boy's leg off with the saw, and all he did for six months is spin that over and over and over again, and it wouldn't stop. And so. We kept working through that. We put him on some um, anti, um,、uh, some serotonin reuptake inhibitors like Prozac. He had to do Clozapam for a little while to stop the fire. These are very aggressive drugs, but we're just doing our best to get his brain right. Well, now he's 23, and we're working through it all, but he still gets these attacks, these OCD attacks, this PTSD. Sometimes he'll. Cry in the bed to me and say, "Mom, my brain's on fire." And when, when those things started to happen, we added that X39 to our protocol. We put it right on his chest, and I'll explain more how this works in a little while. But we put one on his chest at night. We also, and this stem cell is regeneration and repair. We are repairing the pathways to his brain. We also put one e on, which stops inflammation in the brain.